In this short video, we will take a look at the new Content Reframer tool in AI Photo and Art Enhancer. AI Photo and Art Enhancer is a tool that uses artificial intelligence to upscale images. But it is more than that. In the 1.5 update, we added a new option for adjusting image framing before scaling. The purpose of Content Reframer is to be able to change image aspect ratio as well as partially move or reframe subjects on the image. Here is an example of how it works. We have a square image created in Minjourney that we would like to enlarge. However, in this case, we might prefer a more traditional rectangular aspect ratio over a square. If we stretch the image normally, it would obviously not work well. Instead, we can use the Content Reframer tool, which is at the bottom of the preset list. The tool has a lot of handles which could confuse you, but don't worry, it's not that difficult to use once you start playing with it. All of those red squares and triangles are handles that can be moved. There is also a white square in the center and a slider to the side. To stretch the image to have a landscape rectangular aspect ratio, we will use the left and right red handles. As you can see, the image stretched much faster beyond the blue lines established by the triangles and much less in between. The blue lines define the image's focus point, which is the main subject. While we can stretch the sides and background, we must ensure that the main subject maintains its correct aspect ratio. To restore the subject's original shape, we can move the blue triangles closer to the center. The slider on the side can be used to adjust the stretching outside the blue lines. Now look at the square in the middle. This can move the focus point, which will also move the main subject around the frame. That's why we call it Reframe Tool. When you're finished, click the Apply button. You can now enlarge the new image by selecting one of the other AI models. Of course, this works best on images with some dead space around the main subject. It almost works like magic in cases like this Apple image. Let's look at some examples of how to use this tool without my comments. That concludes this video. Stay tuned for more updates.